this is funny. Um, don't think I've done an introduction in the previous videos. Um, I am very interested in collecting different plants and in my channel I talk about uh, plants that I either imported or I bought some cuttings and tried to um, make them a bigger plant. So in this channel you can probably see some unboxing or updates in a couple of months after I have received um, them in the mail or some plants that I have like growth update. But for today's video, I would like to share some information about the one month growth. Yes, I'm very happy that um, I got some positive news to share after a month. Um, not a lot of them has grown like a specific new leaf, so obviously, but um, at least I am very happy that none of them has died, which means that um, as of today, um, after one month, Nine out of nine of the cuttings that I received are all um, surviving and I'll go through that one by one um, in a more closed up and show you how the roots are like and also if there's any new leaves and in particular maybe I can share some tips um, in accordance to my experience. Yeah, so let's take a look at these. Let's start with the most colourful one. This is Hoya Waliana variegated. So this one, when I received it, it is a five leaf cutting. Um, you can take a look at the comparison picture I have on the side. Um, well, this one, the two leaf, unfortunately, did not survive. Well, what I did is I tried to chop it into two parts. Um, one part is this three leaf cutting, another one is the two leaf separately. So then I was thinking, well, maybe I can make the two part of the plants. But because of the another two leaves, those ones are very variegated, which means that they don't have much um, green. And because of that reason, it doesn't have the potential to make, to have any chlorophyll to have a further synthesis. So unfortunately, those two didn't make it. When I was waiting for this one to grow, I did not uh, actually expect this to survive because when the um, two white leaf has died out, I thought this one I may have just uh, also chucked it away. But I was thinking, well, I got the space. Maybe I can try and wait. And these roots, as you can see here, they actually grow after almost two to three weeks. So there is completely no growth during the time when the two leaves died and then I just kept it in the uh, in the humidity box. But it did manage to give me some surprise. And if you look into the roots, maybe it's because of the variegation of the leaf. The roots itself is also pink, which looks very pretty. And if you look into the leaf itself, I have looked into some posts of Waliana um, variegated. People say that their leaves are quite um, dry, even though it has an established root system. I don't know if this is the nature of the Waliana, Waliana uh, nature, um, but for me, it it's kind of like, um, uh, I would say the leaf here, it does look like it's quite dry and given the fact that it does have roots grown out um, not just the air roots here but it also have roots um, going into the soil so i'll uh, wait and see and see if these ones will kind of plump back but um, it is a very colorful leaf um, even just these cutting um, the pink undertone as you can see these one developed after I received the cutting. They don't have this pink undertone before. It's mostly white and green. So this one is Hoya Waliana variegated. So now let's move on to another one. This one is Hoya Mirabilis small leaf. Um, this one here, I have one uh, cutting at the time when I received it. So um, this is, uh, I think it's a five leaf cutting. Throughout the accl uh, acclimation time, um, I did not lose any leaf. So all of the leaf you can see here are from the original cutting. When I received the cutting, I thought, well, it's a relatively large one, as you can see from the comparison picture. 
Um, I wanted to increase my luck to get a fuller plant, so I chopped it to half. And if you can see right here, it grow quite fast because in both of the cutting, it already have new leaf coming out. So these are the two on the left and those are the another one on the right hand side. So both of the cutting has managed to grow some new leaf. I'm very surprised because this one, as far as I remember, the root started just the second day. The second day when I put it in the humidity box, it, I can already see white roots um, coming on the side, like on this area. And it just uh, start growing from the second day when I uh, received it. So it is a very healthy cutting. I also heard from other people sharing their experience about Hoya mirabilis. It is a very um, easy plant to take care of. And so far I do have this experience. It is not difficult to get it rooted. As I mentioned, it started to grow roots the second day. So it's a prolific rower, Hoya mirabilis, small leaf. This one here is Hoya Lee. As you can see from this close up, it is very fussy, or I would even say it's very hairy. It has a lot of hair on both, on the top and also on the bottom of the leaf. So this one here, I haven't really seen much about um, the information about the particular Hoya. I noticed this one from um, YouTube. People were showing that this is like um, Thomsonii, but a smaller version. And when I saw the leaf shape, I was very um, interested. Um, but it's kind of difficult to find if it's not from a collector. So I'm glad that I got it from Camilla. And I'm also quite, um, uh, susp um, well, I would say, I wasn't really sure if I can make it uh, for this particular one because the stem is really thin. And from my experience, normally thin leaf, no, uh, I mean, thin stem Hoyas or cutting are relatively easier um, to rot. So I did not put up too much hope when I received this one. And I was like, okay, let me just, let me just try to put in my usual um, mix, which is um, pom. And it actually started um, rooting uh, the second day, just like the Hoya mirabilis, as I explained. This one here, not only it has a lot of roots grown, um, if you can see on the bottom part here, this is one month of growth and you can already see very long roots has grown and more interestingly it has new growth point as well so this one originally it is a four leaf cutting um, none of the leaf has dropped off since i received it and i cut it into two pieces because i see that there are multiple notes and for both of the cutting it has grown Okay, let me try to be a bit careful and then you can see, if you can see underneath there, let me see, there is a new growth point. So it is very impressive that in a month time, it already have like quite a bit of growth, given this is just a um, cutting, which means there's no roots um, from, from the time when I received it. So yeah. Hoya Lee. This one here is Hoya GPS7240. Um, I noted this one from Instagram. Um, I have never seen that in a, a shop. Um, but I think for these Hoyas that I'm showing you today, most of them are kind of uh, rare. So it has to be either from collector or you kind of import from Thailand. And this one here, I have received it as a five leaf cutting and all of the leaves are, sorry, actually six leaf. <laughs> all of the leaves are still existing. So none of them has dropped. This one I would say is a relatively slower grower when it comes to the roots. Um, if you look closely, there are some roots um, that has grown into the um, uh, pond. I'm not sure if you can see any of them here. 
um, but it is not so obvious that um, they have a new growth point. But they they do grow. Um, they do grow air roots. If you can see, there's a very small piece over here. And also underneath there, if you can see. Uh, this one is very succulent when I received it. So the, the leaf itself is very succulent. That's why I was thinking maybe it could um, sustain a bit of uh, shipment. Um, and so far it is alive. <laughs> so I think as long as this one, I just keep it alive like this and keep the condition I'm giving it um, like what I have given it uh, in the past one month, it should um, it should eventually grow. But um, as I mentioned, this one here is relatively slower when it comes to the growth of the uh, the roots. This one here is Hoya Burmanica. I received this one as a six leaf cutting or seven leaf cutting. Um, I can show you the comparison picture on the side. So again, none of the leaf has dropped. Uh, this one in the beginning, um, it didn't really show any growth sign. Beginning, I mean the first um, maybe two weeks. But after two weeks, I slowly see it has some growth. And if you can see um, here, there are roots getting into the soil. Well, to me, as long as I see there are roots growing without any growth points even, I'm already really happy. The same as the other ones, I chopped um, the um, cutting into two. So then I get myself more possibility of um, having a fuller plant. But as you can see, there is already multiple growth point. This is one cutting and there is a growth point, as you can see on the bottom there. And there is a lot of air root that has grown out. And this one is a new leaf um, from the original cutting. Um, but obviously at the time when I received it, this new leaf is um, inactive, but now it is actively uh, growing. So it's starting to push out two new leaf here. So yeah, this is very encouraging because then I'll have one set of new leaf on the left, you can see here, and also another set on the right hand side here. So this is Hoya Bermanica. This one here is Hoya Parviflora. I really like the pointy leaves of this one. And if you see the comparison picture, I have four leaf um, in the original cutting, same as the other ones, none of the cut, uh, none of the leaf uh, in the original cutting has dropped. So I'm very happy about this because I remember um, the leaf um, on the right hand side here, you can see it is like this yellowed when I received it. And I thought, well, maybe I'll lose this one. But eventually, well, it's still like that yellow color, but it's still standing still. So hopefully, um, hopefully it can sustain itself until new leaf has uh, unfurled. So then it has done its job to do the photosynthesis. But um, this one here, um, I don't really see this um, in the market uh, in where I live, but um, I also don't have a lot of information about the care tips of this one. But in accordance to my guess, because the leaf itself is um, quite succulent. So I think for shipping, this one is all right, but because of the stem is quite thin, it's not the easiest to uh, root. So it's better to keep it um, either in sphagnum moss, so then it won't have too much moist if it's in soil. Even in pond, I realized that it could be too moist um, if um, the container is too big. So I would say when you start rooting something, it's always better to have a smaller container so then it can dry out quicker than a big container. So this one here, I again, I chopped it to two parts so then I can increase my chance to have a um, surviving plant if either one died. Um, luckily, both of them are still alive and two of them do have growth point. As you can see on this part, this one here, it has a growth point, left-hand side here. And let me try to get it a better close-up, like this one here. And also the one behind it also have a growth point. So I think for the 
care tip is basically the same for all of them. I can't really share care tip because I just got these ones for a month. So I'm not in a position to share too much on that perspective. I'm still trialing an error. Um, but um, I think this one, it shouldn't be too hard to, um, to keep it alive as long as you give all of the cuttings enough humidity and warmth. I think these are the keys. So yes, this one is Hoya Parviflora. This one here is Hoya Soy Dao Ensis. I tried to import this one last time in my first uh, import, but unfortunately the cutting is too small. So then it didn't really manage through all the shipping and also obviously the hardest part of a Thailand import would be going through the um, pesticide. That's why they can get the uh, phytosanitary certificate. So anyhow, I tried again to get the cutting directly from Europe so they don't have to go through that harsh uh, chemical treatment. And I'm very happy to say that this one, I did manage to keep it alive. Um, Soy Dao Ensis, when I received this one, the cutting is the same. It looks very healthy. I can show you on the side. Um, I have five leaves on that cutting and none of them has dropped out and i would say this one rooted really fast um i think on the second day or third day i already see some root um, root growth on the air air root side so i would say these ones if you can see these um air roots over here these air root grown um since the second day when i have it um when I have received it. So I'm really pleased that um, that kind of survived. I, I really hope that they continue to grow like this. And interestingly, this one is the peduncle that Kimla provided me um, when I received it. So it's not new, but then it has the potential to grow flowers. Um, it, I can show you on the side. This one, I think around two weeks ago, it tried to push out new flowers. Well, I think it is because the root system is not established enough. So the flower bud um, dried out and obviously it died. But I can tell that this plant is trying, um, at, at least it tried. Um, and I can tell that if you see this a little bit closely, probably not that easy. But if you see the little green part there, it potentially is starting to butt up again. But I think it's more important for it to have a healthy root grown first um, and then they can have flower. But obviously, I will try to provide everything I can. <laughs> and this one here, you can't really see, but uh, there is one piece of root um, on this cutting. And obviously, there is a pretty long air roots on this area. Hopefully this one, um, which is the original growth point, will continue to grow. And these ones are some leaf. I think they originally have it when it comes with this one. But uh, same as the other cutting, I try to increase my chance of having a fuller plant and also not putting all of the eggs in the same basket. So if you look closer, I actually just noticed this one when I was taking this in filming. If you see this, there is a new growth point um, on the another small tiny cutting. So I am very happy to see that. Okay, so this one is Hoya Soy Dao Ensis. This one here is Hoya Liptophilica. Um, when I received it, it is a very long cutting and I wanted to make a fuller plant, uh, not just because of the fuller plant, but also on the perspective of if a cutting is too long, um, you can't really just put the one end on the pond because it won't be able to suck up the water fast enough to go to the furthest end of the uh, cutting itself. So then I chopped off most of it. All of these are from the same cutting. You can see the comparison on the side. I would say the first day when I received it, most of the leaf has let, yellowed out and dried and died out. I think the reason is because this one, if you can see on the close up, it is a very thin leaf hoya, which means that it needs a lot of humidity 
and um, uh, also water to keep it plumped up. Maybe on this side you can see clearer. Yes, here. So because it is a very small and thin leaf hoya, um, it constantly needs to be in water and potentially in a very high humidity condition. Otherwise, it will just drop off and die. And I have to say, if you can see this in this uh, video, most of the leaves are gone. There is almost nothing on each stem. But I'm really happy to say that um, even though all of the leaves have... Oh, mostly, most of the leaves has dropped out. These air roots started to grow the second or third day when I received it. So I'm very happy to see that sign because I know that even though the leaves aren't alive or all of them dropped out, they are trying to push out growth. And because of that reason, from I think from the third, no, actually from the second or the third week I received it, it stopped pushing out new leaves. You see here, these three leaves over here, it's brand new. It just grown after I received it. And most of the uh, node, as you can see, these ones are the original leaf, um, but not a lot of them actually um, remained. Um, and here, let me see. Here, there's a new leaf coming out. And these ones are a pair of new leaves that just came out, I think, uh, a couple of days ago. You can see over here. And then I have, oh, we have more, like over here, There's more new leaves. So I think this one is a, it's a, maybe it's a quite easy plant to, uh, to root, um, but you just need to be patient because they may not have leaf at the time when you're trying to root it, but it will. It will um, give out leaves eventually when they have enough um, moisture and also enough root growth because roots are more important than leaves. Um, when you have healthy root system, you can produce more leaf afterwards. But if you don't have a healthy root system, you just have a healthy leaf, the leaf unfortunately will decline by time. So yeah, this one here lost most of the original leaf, but managed to push out new ones and also a lot of air roots. Probably a lot of roots underneath as well, if you see. Actually, you can see. There is quite a bit of root grown into the pot. So that's a good sign uh, on the growth point. Okay, this one is Hoya Liptothilica. Last but not least, this is Hoya Qinghong Ensis. This one is known to be a moisture lover, which means that it needs a lot of moisture. I think similar to uh, Liptophilica, it is a very thin leaf Hoya. Uh, let me try to get this. So if you can see, the leaf itself is very fussy and also very thin and small. So it shouldn't be in the mail for too long. Um, but as you can see on the comparison picture I put on the side, um, even at the day when I received it, it was eight day in transit and it's pretty cold. It did manage to look almost like the same um, of this condition I'm showing you now. And the leaf itself, um, I, I don't have a lot of uh, leaf drop for this one. Um, it comes in really, really, um, really healthily, um, as I have explained in my unboxing. And this one here, I have chopped it up to multiple um, cutting. And I would say it is very similar to Liptophilica because the way that it grows, it grows a lot of air root um, first. And then it slowly pushed out a lot of new growth all along the stem. As you can see, this one here is new growth. This one here. And then this one is the, I think this one is the top cutting. Um, it's an original, um, original growth point from the original uh, cutting. And this one here is another growth point. Uh, I think that one as well. Yeah, that one there as well. So basically all of the cutting almost has new growth point. I'm really happy about this because uh, for Ching Hong Ensis, 
I have never had this experience before. I have Bella, uh, and my Bella uh, is kept in a very humid environment. So I was just trying to do the same thing. And yeah, Hoya Ching Kong answers. Um, seems like is having a pretty good time. All right, um, I hope you enjoy uh, the um, one month update for the cuttings. Um, in my opinion, I think either you got cuttings or you got a full plant. In winter time, I would say, it's, it's very difficult to keep them um, happy because even though you give them extra humidity, extra light, uh, and also extra warmth, it's, the plant kind of is quite smart. Um, they, they know that it's not um, in their growth season. So even if you give them a lot of supplement, they don't grow as fast as in the growing season, um, which probably would be between like May to August. Um, so I think the expectation that you should set for yourself is if you're ever going to buy any cuttings or you're going to buy a new plant during the winter months, it's already a compliment to keep them alive. Um, don't really expect them to grow so much. Um, and it really takes a lot of patience um, for them to grow. Do not give up um, when you see them not growing. Uh, I would say as long as the leaves are not yellowing out, um, it is still alive. It just takes a uh, much longer time for them to acclimate. Yeah, well, I'll see you in the next time. Bye.